Uh, hoi hoi folks, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface and welcome to today's video. If you're new here then welcome, if you're not new then welcome back. Yes, it's that time of the month we are returning to Scrawler Box for the Scrawler challenge so this is going to be an interesting one i think i've actually done a little bit of pre-planning i know very very unlike me um but you might remember our challenge this month is dish of the day let me see if you can see that there we go dish of the day so that is our challenge for today and yeah as i say i've actually got an idea and i've done a little bit of pre-planning uh so Whilst I turn the camera around and get set up, why don't you take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. And we'll get right into this week's video. And here we are. Tell the truth. Did you go and subscribe? Excellent. Good job. Welcome. Okay. Right. I suppose we should remind ourselves of what is in the box. So this is our scrawler challenge dish of the day. And in the January box, we have these Derwent Fine Art Pencils. We have this Pilot Eco Ball, which is a, a recycled plastic ballpoint pen in blue. Uh, and then we have this alcohol blending pen, which apparently could be used with the pencils. So um, very excited to be using that. Then we also have this, which comes in its own little lovely case. This see see why it's a Brighton sketchbook, but this is a concertina sketchbook, so it opens up like that. So very excited to be using this, and this really is where the idea for today's prompt came. So let me just move this out of the way and show you this. So this is the piece of artwork from this month's creator. Obviously, dish of the day. They've gone for a fishy dish of the day and I really love the style however I will point out and this is a minor well I say minor it's a bugbear of mine it's something I've commented on in school of videos before uh, there are colors in here uh, which are not part of the pack so they're not actually what we've received which might not seem like a big deal but scroll box for those people who are getting it because they're new to art and they want to explore new mediums having a piece of artwork to aspire to that you can never actually get to because you don't have the supplies I think actually is quite detrimental to someone's progress but that's just me that's me putting my teacher hat on um, speaking of teacher hat that's kind of where the inspiration for today came from so I taught lots of subjects at primary and secondary but I, I kind of focus on uh, maths and, and economics and textiles and art and, and drama and, and those kinds of subjects. I also specialise in special educational needs, so that is people with learning disabilities. And one thing that we found was that having visual aids is something that is incredibly useful, particularly when it comes to life skills. So, the dish of the day, I'm actually going to be using a four page spread like this, one, two, three, four, uh, to create a little recipe card. Uh, and I'm gonna illustrate the recipe as it goes along. So some written instructions and some illustrated instructions. So I have done a little bit of prep. I've actually written out my recipe over here in some very rough notes. I'm gonna quickly go through, I am using an extra supply this month. Uh, again, I'm gonna be using a pencil, just because we don't have a pencil in this. Not really to sketch anything out, it's more just to section out where I'm gonna be putting things. I think I'm gonna try and use the colored pencils as much as possible to do the sketching as well. Right, I need to, well, I need to finish my cup of tea in my lovely love cup up here. Then I need to block out what I'm doing and then you can join me as we go through and try to create this little recipe card. Wish me luck. Okay, let's get into this. So I am creating a recipe here for an aubergine curry, which is actually one of her my and Andrew's favourite meals. Um, it's one, well actually when Andrew and I first met, it was 
absolutely terrible at cooking and now he's quite good and it's it's some help with recipes like this so that's why I thought it'd be a nice visual thing to help uh, help people who not confident cooking just be able to do a little something so all I'm doing first as you can see I've sectioned out the pages and just going through and roughly sketching in what I want so I want this to be a fairly loose sketch and, and style for this I think it's more important that the um, the words be there and the the images just accompany it so you'll see as we get into the the writing how this all kind of comes together but we've got all of our ingredients on the left uh, well most of the ingredients there's a few more to add in as well then we've got six steps uh, and I've sectioned these all out so it's nice and clear and easy to follow as you go through and I'll, I'll label all of these as we go as well so this is uh, just penciling this in and nothing special here just going through and making sure I've got all of my kind of concept ideas in place so that when it comes to to actually colouring it and, and inking it, it's uh, it goes much quicker. And actually, this was a very quick project. Not so much because of the simplicity, although that that is part of it. Um, also because of issues, which you'll see now. Um, so when when I tested these in the unboxing, I found an equivalent paper because I didn't want to ruin the the sketchbook by swatching in it so I found exactly the same kind of paper from a different brand um, but then I I did my swatches in there and that's a lesson learned that was a big mistake because these pencils do not perform the same way on this paper as it did on the other paper even though it's exactly the same weight exactly the same kind of paper and it really does show that not all sketchbooks and not all paper are made equal. It's always, if you find a brand that you like, it's a good idea to stick with it because at least you know what you're gonna get from it. Um, and it's interesting because neither the sketchbook or the pencils are bad, but again, this is an issue that's come up multiple times with Scrawlerbox in the past, and I've commented on this a lot. The supplies don't always match the material that we're given to use the supplies on um, and it's incredibly frustrating again as I said at the beginning um, for people who are just starting in art having something to aspire to and then not actually being able to create that because the materials that you've got don't allow for it is really off-putting and and can actually be really detrimental to, to someone's learning and enjoyment and I personally find that a shame if nothing else I'm I'm really trying here I'm gonna do my, my absolute best but I will be honest I got about 10 minutes into trying to use these pencils on this paper and my my will to continue was drained um, so I'm I'm really pushing through on this because I want to make something of this project <sighs> anyway first part of the rant out of the way I will point out that the the leads on the pencils are hard they are hard leads and on the right paper they perform proficiently they're okay not on this one however something I did find with these pencils is that they don't sharpen very easily so this seems to be something with Derwent supplies um, that they want you to use products from them and I think this is a prime example of that so I have in my studio office as you might imagine dozens of pencil sharpeners that have been gifted to me or that I've bought and collected over the years or have been parts of you know uh, promotional packs that have been sent to me for review um, there was only one pencil sharpener that worked with these colored pencils and surprise surprise it was the Derwent pastel uh, sharpener that we had in a scroller box recently which is incredibly frustrating again if you didn't have that scroller box the only real way to sharpen these pencils is to really jam it into a pencil sharpener and use a lot of pressure it can be done but then of course you run the risk of snapping 
the pencil or, or cracking the pencil even. I've had it before where I've put too much pressure in a sharpener and it has split the glue seam all the way down a pencil. And again, if you're a beginner, that's, that's gonna be really, really frustrating. This is where I started to enjoy the project a little bit more. So this pen, so this is uh, the Pilot Eco Ball 10, uh, which is made of, I think it's 86% recycled materials. Most of it is plastic bottles. So they've carried that design of kind of like the, the Evian Volvic bottle over into, into the design of the pen, which I, I really like. It's quite comfortable to use and hold. It actually glides really well so this was a surprise in this one and I really enjoyed it it writes really well too I mean ignore my handwriting my handwriting is an absolute mess um, comes from years and years of marking work and writing very quickly and, and it's just a chicken scrawl but yeah I really liked that and I think it started to pull together the whole project so now we've got all the ingredients have got all of the steps going through and the last thing to do is the final step which is a bit of writing and a a kind of representation of how to to serve the meal so again sketching out in pencil going in a little bit more detail on the pencil this time because of the issue with the coloring pencils and then coloring it in again blending as i go i i really enjoyed the the blending pen when i used it i think it softened the, uh, the lead quite nicely and, and blended colour so we'll definitely be keeping that and it's good to know that just a standard alcohol blending pen can do that but um, yeah we're, we're kind of almost coming to the end of this project and whilst it was a struggle um, putting it kindly um, I, I didn't hate the process but I also didn't enjoy the process. And I really do think at this point, and it's not just me, you know, there are other reviewers that have said similar things in the past, you know, a few of us have chatted online and there's a common consensus that the supplies and, and the, the media to use the supplies on really need to invest, be investigated a little bit more and, and kind of put together with a little bit more care. Um, but yeah, we, I mean that's that's really down to, to scroller box isn't it it's it's not the fault of the supplies it's the fault of the person who put the supplies together anyway rant over um i'm gonna leave you just with this final bit of inking and writing and uh, i'll catch you at the end with a few final thoughts Well, there we are. That was a trial, um, but here we are. This is this is the finished recipe card, as you can see, and we can pull it out to a nice big full recipe. I think the the idea, the concept here, is sound, and actually, it's something I want to revisit definitely. However, I will not be doing it with these pencils. Um, the the blending pen works great, and actually. The biro, which I thought had just been put in there as a filler, which I kind of still do, really was the saving grace on this one because I was able to do some inking. It would have been great if it was black rather than blue. I think I would have enjoyed it even more. Um, the standout for me really is the the C. White's sketchbook, the concertina sketchbook. Really, really enjoyed that and really want to revisit this and do some more with it. Like I love that. As always, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video, and until next time, goodbye.